I hit the dino, but she used camouflage. We're gonna try something more subtle next time, Sam. Here, take these, they're very poisonous. And Sam, there'll be no mistakes this time. <coughs> Bobo, get on board! Hey guys, welcome to In-Depth Reviews. We do things a little differently. And today's review is of the Prototype 2K9 Jurassic Park G.I. Joe. Rumor has it that this guy was supposed to be included in a 20-point articulation, 18-inch to 2-feet Tyrannosaurus Rex from Hasbro. It was never released, and this guy also was never released. And you're also thinking, well, man, how'd you get that? You have that great of sources now? This actually came from eBay. It actually came straight from China. I buy stuff on eBay all the time. I also sell on eBay. I bought an alien statue from China, and it was complete garbage. It came shattered. Every time I buy from China, I keep on getting bad luck. But this guy came in one piece and came actually pretty fast. So I was really surprised. And also, uh, he's not fake. I guess I have sources that confirm that this guy was actually supposed to be released with that mega T-Rex, a 20-point articulation T-Rex but was never seen the light of day. It kind of sucks Hasbro never gave us that T-Rex, but we at least we leaked and got this guy from the China factories. Let's take a look at him. I'm gonna go offhand and say this guy is my favorite action figure of all time. Yes, you heard me right. If you look closely, you can see his trademark Mari tats here and on the face as well. If you're not familiar with the Mari people, they are from New Zealand. I absolutely have 110% respect for the Mari people. They're one of my favorite cultures, and actually all of New Zealand. Sometimes I wish I was a Kiwi, but uh, this guy is definitely Mari. He's got his face tats, he's got his arm tats, and the tribal patterns. If you haven't seen the film Once Were Warriors, that's a New Zealand film, a Mari film, you totally should. It's one of the greatest films I've ever seen in my life. And this guy looks just like Tamara Morrison. You can see his head tat, his haircut, his face structure doesn't look too much like Tamora, but he looks like him from a distance in my opinion. And the whole tattoos and stuff just looks absolutely phenomenal. So you see his tats and the articulations of G.I. Joe's are just crazy awesome. Their arms rotate like so, all the way back. Shoulder joints move in a 360. Also come out like this, you can give somebody a rock bottom. Same with the other arm. The hands themselves move completely. So awesome. And then the legs move on a joint socket like this and go all the way out. The knees are articulated as well as the feet is articulated as well. The most articulation from a small figure I've ever seen in my life. So let's look at the detailing of this guy. He has his green in-gen Jurassic Park vest, his brown pants, it looks like he has like knee pads I'd say. The knee pads even have like little divots for like screws and nails that hold the whole thing together. That's pretty awesome. On the sides here, he's got his two black and silver buckles, his leg straps, usually for something like a knife. And on his boots, he's got like regular shoes, and then he has like the green stirrups type deal. Just really great detailing. I really like this figure. And if you look at the vest, it's got your, your standard bullet proof type deal with the ammo pouches in front. Also here, you have the belt. It looks like it's, he's got some shell casings for a shotgun or something on the back you got your circle cut through to put your weapons which we'll get to here in a second pouches more of a ammo belt looks like another pouch really cool feature about this guy is that his vest right here actually can come off and that's how actually he was assembled and uh it took me a while to figure it out but put his left arm up actually it's the right arm i'm an idiot and then his vest will come off like so and he can be a complete badass and bam, that looks Mari like a motherfucker. Looks so awesome. You can do his haka dance. If you haven't seen a Mari haka dance from uh, the New Zealand All Blacks, the All Whites, you totally need to Google that right now. The Mari people are, are just fantastic, as is this figure. And his torso rotates a complete 360. His body is ridiculously ripped. It looks like Ryan Gosling or somebody. This is just a badass figure. And in my opinion, this whole sheen looks like something from like a Predator movie. Like he should be in the original Predator film or something. So let's look at his weapons. To be honest with you, it's been a while since I knew my guns. I would just say this is an E60 machine gun, even though it's probably totally not. It comes with the machine gun itself, a little divot to throw your shells in, and then you have a little circle in the back here, which you can throw on his back like so, and it fits in very snug. Actually, let's put his vest back on to make sure everything fits with his vest on, because I assume it's gonna, it's gonna fit just fine with his him, him naked <laughs> up top. So let's try this out. Yep. That fits, so you can walk around like the badass that he is. And then, of course, let's take it off. Put the bullets through here. Feed them through. Bam. 
and uh, set him up like he was in the uh, the promo picture of the video. Put his hand, bottom hand. Oh, that's gonna be difficult. Boom, like that. I guess one thing is that they're quite difficult to put together in a diorama. Playing with them might be a little hard because he has so much articulation, but there he is. He's ready to shoot some dinos. That looks pretty sick. His other two weapons, a little crazy. This looks like a pickaxle or I don't know, some Grim Reaper or sickle or something. So that should fit here, and it does. So it fits in the back of him. And then we have a, a random RPG, Javelin Rocket. I don't know, I think it's an RPG. Man, it's been a while since I played SOCOM. He has a random rocket. This guy's gun. This guy's pickaxled, I guess, to dig some dirt or something. And Tamiro Morrison is ready to kill some dinos. So let's actually compare him real quick to some other G.I. Joes and some other Jurassic Park figures. So here is pre-2008, if I'm correct, G.I. Joe. Their articulation's pretty nice. He's got this rubber band type deal going on where you can stretch out the legs and stretch out the torso from the hips. A little crazy, but a uh, pretty cool articulation. You can move the arms around the sockets and pretty cool. So height-wise, you can see the new reiterations of the G.I. Joes are quite taller. Like Andre the Giant type taller. So here's the comparisons of these guys. As you see the differences there. Let's bring in the actually <laughs> released Jurassic Park G.I. Joe who's a badass figure as well and has a pretty cool gun holster but I think uh, my Maori man right here I think is more badass. It looks like Vic Hoskins on a second glance but uh, yeah you can see the prototype guy is uh, he's a little bit bigger. Here's Jurassic Park 3 Billy Brennan. You can see that he's quite small compared to the prototype and here's a Kenner figure which is way more in scale. Body wise is way bigger than the prototype like talking about like thickness and stuff but uh height wise uh, the prototypes are on on schedule with eddie car there i would say they're definitely completely compatible with each other but uh, with the kenner guys they're they're pretty play compatible and let's compare him with some dinosaurs pachycephalosaurus pachy looks a little bit too big in scale but it's very close so there's the pachycephalosaurus basher biter here's a dilophosaurus if this is a real life dilophosaurus it'd be damn near in scale so that's really cool the Utah Raptor and the prototype looks pretty badass. Not so much in scale though, sadly. Young T-Rex, you haven't seen this guy before. 2000 repaint. Actually looks really in scale, I like it. It's pretty much a very old juvenile maybe compared to the prototype. But badass nonetheless, the Indominus and the prototype. And we see that nearly in scale. You can definitely have playtime with these two. The Spinosaurus Egypticus and our prototype. You can even buy like a bunch of these G.I. Joe guys and just pretend that these three G.I. Joe dudes from the 2K9 series are like three mercs from Jurassic Park 3. So, not so much in scale, but it looks pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, you can have tons of playtime with these guys. It looks pretty sweet. So what are my final thoughts? This is actually going to be quite easy because... This guy is so badass, and I'm seriously considering this guy, in my opinion, right now, maybe it's a honeymoon stage, but I consider him my favorite figure of all time. He gets a 10 out of 10. He's available on eBay. Just search Prototype G.I. Joe Jurassic Park, and you'll get this guy. He's roughly like a dollar plus like six bucks shipping, or you can just do a buy it now for like six fifty or seven dollars free shipping, and it comes from like China or Hong Kong, China. Uh, I recommend you 110% picking this up because we do not have human figures for Jurassic World. If you're a huge Jurassic Park fan, you should have this guy anyway. He looks amazing. 10 out of 10. This is the second 10 out of 10 I've ever given. This guy is totally deserving and uh, cheap as hell too. I cannot believe how cheap and actually how fast he came from China. So uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. So like this video if you already have it down below and click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed because I have lots of videos coming, so stay tuned.